to kill. He hates human life. He loves to kill as much as he can. And so, so what better way than to lure poor women into your clutches that trust you and then kill them? Let me just say another thing is that we're talking about the black sheep of masonry, really. I mean, a lot of masons are good people as well. I mean, but but you know the the fact that a John Wayne Gacy was loved by his lodge and he, he they loved him because he was so good at at uh, at calling spirits down and he definitely had a lot of uh, powers. They said he was a very powerful individual and he was supposed to be a senator as well. Is that right? Yeah, he, he went to political offices and um, uh, he he got a lot of help through different clubs. You know, I think he'd get into the Kiwanis as well. Uh-huh. And uh, he used to go to all the associate all the, the service uh, associations, and uh, he tried to get into all the structure. Uh-huh. And, and, and then you know he was also um, uh, po- he had some kind of um, secret service. Uh, um, I think he had some kind of clearance. So that that dead away just, cl- just you know there's some funny going on. He has some kind of special clearance, right? That's yeah. right. That reminds me of the Jesuit uh, Michael Delisle Lyons. Yes. Michael, Michael Delisle Lyons was one of the developers of the beryllium trigger on the atomic bomb. That was detonated in uh, Alamogordo, the Trinity testing in uh, 1945. Mm -hmm. And he had a Q clearance along with one of his other Jesuit uh, professors from St. Louis University. Mm -hmm. I think Gacy Gacy had S clearance. S clearance. Okay. I know Q Q is the highest, I think. So he must have had, okay, S clearance. You have intelligence. You have high-level masonry. And with that, they think they can get away with murder. And, and I think yeah. we need to stress, too, that these men, these totally depraved sinners, think that when they join the lodge, they're going to get in with a bunch of other men that are going to protect them. And therefore, yeah. they're above the law. And they can do anything they want to do. Wouldn't you say? I mean, that's what it is. I think that uh, what I hear from other Masons that, that, that knew Gacy, because I, I, I know several. Remember, I'm from Chicago. Uh-huh. Uh, Gacy joined... Freemasonry in Chicago, and uh, basically, uh, what I know, they they said that it, it was just very deplorable for that lodge, that particular lodge, and uh, when it, when the story came out, and uh, I just uh, I don't know if Gacy, I don't think the Masons are behind serial killing. I really don't think so, but I, I just find it very odd that most of the serial killers were Masons, and uh, you have you know. I, who knows? I think they're working for other cults because you see the ma- masonry is is the, is the doorway to get into the into the get to get into the occult societies because mm-hmm. eventually you can climb your way up. You can get into the different uh, side cults, side orders. Mm-hmm. You know, so I mean that's what it's all about. Mm-hmm. So I I think it's a doorway really. Oh, I have no doubt about it, and. You know, what's, we, the reason why masonry is so successful for any of you masons listening, now, as an aside, I had a grandfather that was 32nd degree Scottish, right? I was initiated into the Dimole with their little, with their little word, Fidelitas, and taken over into the corner of the, of the, of the Masonic Lodge, and they put a rope around your hands and blindfold you, and, and I thought it was hilarious. I was doing everything I can to keep a straight face. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and, and, and and it's it, it, it's uh, it first starts out like a friends club, where where it's just some, with some of your football buddies got into it, so you get into it too, and then you know pretty soon you want to get into the lodge. I never did join the lodge, but uh, it becomes a men's club. But as you get higher and higher, you find out that it becomes more than a men's club. Yes, yes. And, I mean, and, I, I, I think here's what I here's what I would say as well. Uh, when when that movie came out. Um, uh, uh, what was it called? The, the Silence of the Lambs. Uh-huh. I, I, the first thing I thought was, well, the, you know, uh, if they make this uh, seri- this cannibal into uh, a hero, that's it. We're finished, Eric. <laughs> I mean, and that's exactly what they did, didn't they? Yes. And they used and, that. And that actor they used was uh, what's his name? Oh, he's a famous actor. Hopkins. Hopkins. Uh, Anthony Hopkins. That's right. Yeah. Is he, is he a Mason, by the way? 
I have no idea. I have no idea what he's into. Uh, I I know that he's uh, uh, he's into several of the Catholic orders. Is he a knight of Malta? Um, I'm pretty sure he's not a knight of Malta, oh. but I would I would I would I would have my doubts that he's a knight of Malta. Oh. I think that he's definitely in with the Opus Dei, Opus like Dei. like. Like David Bowie, you know, I think um, uh, Craig Oxley mentioned David Bowie, and uh, David Bowie's a big Opus Dei member. Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> so uh, he, he's big into the Opus Dei movement. And uh, um, okay, just now, going back, just yeah, going back. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, let's let's go back to uh, uh, to John Wayne Gracie. If you're not yeah. done with him, no, yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Well, yeah, are, are you finished with him? Why don't you tell yeah, us of what he, he... He was a serial killer. How many killing people did he kill? I, uh, oh, several, I think. What, what, was it like more than... Wasn't it more than 13? I'm not, I'm not sure. It was quite a few. Yeah. Tell, tell us about Charles Manson. Charles Manson uh, is, a big, is the biggest charade uh, in all of uh, the media because they, they always show him on TV just to, show, just to make you... Just to have, so you, you're secure, they're still in prison. Look, Charles Manson, remember him? You know? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, he is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He's, Charles Manson is, is, is a big occultist, you know. They, they really love him up here. Is yeah. that right? Oh, yeah, they love, they love Charles Manson. You know, I would say this. I would say he's not in prison. And uh, he's he's definitely in uh, high into this this cult circuit, and uh, you know every Satanist really loves this guy, and uh, you know uh, it, there's there's no there's no doubt he's a Freemason. You know he entered several lodges. Now I, I heard that they were fringe lodges though. I I, I don't know if they were regular lodges, mm-hmm. but uh, he was he was involved in. A lot of cults, all Jews, and all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, you know, that brings me to the next thing. You know, I was talking about cannibalism, and mm-hmm. how how Dummer was a cannibal, and and uh, he was into the occult. And you know, a lot of people don't know this, but um, you know, we're talking about these elite families, uh, these families, these Colonna. In Italy, you know, Italy, we're we're probably world famous for our uh, cured meats and salami and prosciutto and these things. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, in Tuscany, especially, and I, it was it was shown in the movie Silence of the Lambs. I think it was the sequel. I forgot what it was called. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, you know, a lot of these guys are, are cannibals, and they actually eat people. Now, why would they do that? You'd be surprised. And you know, what? I, I hate to say this, and I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm probably losing a lot of. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I might lose a lot of people here, but I, I think I might have eaten some of this uh, a cured uh, uh, human meat by accident. Yeah. Yeah. In, 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 excuse me. I was with a friend of mine uh, named Leo, and uh, you know we were we were invited to this uh, this uh, uh, yoga kind of uh, uh, meditation conference or something like that, and you know. We went to a place in uh, Umbria, and uh, well, <laughs> what can I tell you? I, I was told after after the you know they, they give it to you as a um, uh, antipasto, what do you call app- appetizer? Mm-hmm. Uh, and somebody told me, well, that prosciutto that you just ate was was human. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm still looking at it and thinking about it, and I. I don't know if, I mean, and, and the guy had a straight face. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm just worried that I ate some human meat, Eric. Well, hopefully you didn't. At least you didn't, do, you didn't do it no, knowingly. But no. the, re- the reason why the devil promotes cannibalism yeah. is because it gives the person power, demonic power, when he eats human meat. Yes. He, he gets power in the killing in the shedding of innocent blood, and then he gets power in its consumption. And that's why these, these uh, high witches are involved in eating the, the, uh, the persons that they've sacrificed. Well, and yeah, that, I mean, you'd be surprised. I mean, uh, uh, I, I know that they eat this human flesh, 
because I mean I, I've seen um, unfortunately you know thank God I'm here in Italy and I'm not in America <laughs> I'm able to tell you some of those things uh, mm -hmm. I've seen actually like a cured like human uh, leg you know mm -hmm. hanging uh, you know they put salt and and you know uh, I've seen I've seen a lot of things Eric. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not surprising in the in the arena that you used to be. Yes. And uh, it, it's important that the listener knows that this is the real world. Yeah. I mean, this yeah. isn't this isn't Disneyland, where we have Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and everybody's happy go lucky. We live in an evil, wicked, sinful world system, where the devil is the god of this world. He he is the first liar and the first murderer. Uh, his his greatest servants are the greatest sorcerers and fornicators and thieves and murderers in the world, and they happen to call they call themselves royalists. I'm sure yeah. that all the ten major family members that you gave to me, including the Breakspear and some of the